Hey guys, just wanted to bring your attention to this really interesting article in regards to those really strange sounds that have been heard around the planet. Now, Lucas has written this article and he's from rabbithole2.com and he is basically bringing us an interview from a scientist who has given his conclusions as to what the noises are, as well as he seems to be pointing to a massive effort to cover up these sounds. So let's read on. An accredited and renowned scientist, Dr. Elchen Kalilov, has confirmed the strange sounds are not just a hoax and offers some solid explanations. Dr. Kalilov is a geophysicist who works in the area of geodynamics and geotectonics. Basically, he studies the way that plates on the Earth move on a global scale and the key dynamics of earthquakes and geological forces. In a recent interview for GeoChange Journal, Dr. Kalilov was asked some questions about the strange sounds people have been reporting for the past few months. Here is a snippet from that interview. What is the nature of the unusual, very low-pitched sounds reported by a great number of people in different parts of the planet since the summer of 2011? Many call them the sound of the apocalypse. Information about that comes from all over the world. US, UK, Costa Rica, Russia, Czech Republic and Australia. Dr. Kalilov. We have analysed records of these sounds and found that most of, their, uh, most of their spectrum lies within the infrasound range. That means it's not audible to humans. What people hear is only a small fraction of the actual power of these sounds. They are low frequency acoustic emissions in the range between 20 and 100 Hz modulated by an ultra low infrasonic wave from 0.1 to 15 Hz. In geophysics they are called acoustic gravity waves. They are formed in the upper atmosphere at the atmosphere ionosphere boundary in particular. There can be quite a lot of causes why those waves are generated. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, hurricanes, storms, tsunamis, etc. However, the scale of the observed humming sounds in terms of both the area covered and its power far exceeds those that can be generated by the above mentioned phenomena. Now the entire interview is actually linked here as well, so I will link this article underneath and then you can go on and uh, have a look at the rest of the interview by Dr. Kalilov. Now Lucas continues on, is there an effort to poison the well? There is no doubt a huge amount of fake strange sound videos saturating YouTube, but where did all these fake videos come from? Between January 13th through to the 16th, I watched in disbelief as several dozen fake videos under the title Strange Sounds were uploaded to YouTube at the rate of 4 to 5 per hour. Notice that the graph for the Google Trends starts shooting right up on the 10th when people actually started searching Google for the term Strange Sounds. And then around the 13th is when all the fake videos started being uploaded like they were going out of style. In my 18 years on the internet and six years being an avid YouTuber, I have not seen anything that even comes anywhere close to this. Either we have just witnessed the world's largest coordinated hoax that should be put in the Guinness Book, or somebody is trying to cover something up. How to discredit the real videos? Poison the well. If a person or group of persons wanted to cover up something as big as strange, ominous sounds in the sky, and they wanted to do it in the age of digital cameras, then the only way to be able to accomplish that goal is by creating a massive slew of fakes and injecting that poison into the stream of information, thus decrediting all the videos. Sorry, thus discrediting all the videos. There is no other possible way to cover up something like that unless you shut down YouTube or delete user accounts. But if you shut down accounts, that causes a whole other problem because that then led credibility to the video uploader. The best, easiest and least messy method would be to saturate YouTube with so many fakes 
that nobody could tell what was real and what was fake without extensive time, consumption and effort. If a person was to try and sift through all the videos, probably now well over 100, it would be a nightmare. For those of you who don't know what the old age term poison the well means, well here is the definition. Poisoning the well is a rhetorical device where adverse information about a target is preemptively presented to an audience with the intention of discrediting or ridiculing everything that the target person is about to say. Very, very interesting. So as I said guys, I will link this article underneath the video and then you can go and have a look at it in more detail. So thanks for listening guys. Peace out.